Hello folks, Trevor Jonah here. We're uh, ready to get this started off, finally. I know I've had a lot of people support me in my comments from my first video, and I really do appreciate that, I do. It goes a long way, and I thank you so much, and God bless each and every one of you. And thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I'm trying to help, like I said, and I really do appreciate it. But here I'm gonna start off with showing you this is some of my Scobie ducks. I'm at the Cumberland County Fairgrounds. I'd enter in some of them and here we are and I hope y'all enjoy right here they are that one right there as you can see that's the Drake and those three right there's hens I've got a couple more entered in here but the Muscovy duck really they're a really good breed of duck they lay a lot and they raise babies phenomenally and they make really good incubators I mean if you ain't got an incubator and you got a Muscovy duck, you can put chicken eggs under them. They'll take care of them. But that's some of my Muscovies. And here, I'm going to show you some of the geese that Yen's are going to be familiar with. Well, this is pretty much everything I brought up here. They kind of run all around here together. But here's the geese and stuff. Okay. Now... The three types of geese that I raise, like that one right there, right there, that's American Buff Dewlap. That one right there, that's American Buff Tufted. And back here is what you call a Buff Saddleback. That's the three type of geese I raise. As you can see, they're a very large breed of geese and they lay quite consistently. Here guys, move on around here. They lay quite consistently. And they lay a very good big eggs, very rich yolk. And the geese themselves, they're a very calm breed. They don't fly. If they do, they don't get very far off the ground. They're very easy to contain and very easy, like low maintenance. And that's the main reason I like them. I like them too because of the color. They're yellow, of course, buff. But they're they're just a very gentle breed. So if you got children or you got elderly living at your house, I mean they're just a very calm, good breed. You hear a lot of times about most geese being aggressive or something like that, but these right here, quite frankly, they're really calm. I I've got my granny, she's 77 year old, and any day of the week, I trust any one of these geese her to go out there and feed them bread out of their hand. I mean, that's really how calm they are. I mean, they're very good tempered birds, and I'd suggest any type of the buff geese for anybody that's wanting to raise them. The Muscobies, you do have to watch out for. They do, they can fly very good, and I mean, I mean, it's just phenomenal how good they can actually fly. So, I mean, if you're just got a fence without a top, See up here, part of this fence does not have a top. That's because I clipped their wings. Clipping their wings, that just makes them easier to contain. And whenever you got uh, multiple hens or mamas and you got babies, those babies grow up and it turns into like a ranking order. See, all your mama ducks that's there, your original ones, they're like, I guess, the queens of the group or the flock. And these young hens are growing up, and that makes them right there in the ranking. They've got to earn their ranking. And sometimes the full-grown hen ducks will scare them off, and they will fly away. So, I mean, that's that's one thing you do have to watch out for with dealing with the Muscobies. The geese, they're very, like I said, they're very calm and laid back. But that's, that's going to be, I mean, if you don't have a closed-top pen, see, as you can see right here, part of this pen is closed but it's at least four foot tall. They cannot jump or anything like that over it with the clipped wing. Do not clip both of them, because if you clip both the wings, that will make them where they can fly. They can fly a little bit, but they can fly. And I mean, that just, but whenever you clip one side, which I will show you how to clip a duck's wing, you just clip the one side right around through there where the, see where the, like the elbow of it is, it goes up like this. You want to try to clip right along that line right there. I mean, that's that's the best way to do it. And it makes them where they can't fly, and it does not hurt them. I mean, cutting their hair or cutting their wings is like cutting hair on top of your head. I mean, it doesn't hurt them, 
and I mean that'll just keep everything a lot better for you and what I mainly suggest with keeping ducks and geese like that that cannot fly you're taking their natural ability to get away from predators away from them. so if at all possible keep them in a pen I mean that's just the best way to do it and uh, I mean that's really about it I mean they're a very low maintenance animal just I mean as you can tell they like their water they enjoy it but see those geese right there they're only five months old I raised them from babies that's a buff saddleback one thing with these geese that you gotta have to be able to raise them good is grass I mean like the wild geese the Canadian geese you may notice you know like if you got a set on your pond or something like that you may notice you know like one month they're babies and the next month they're fully feathered you're like where'd they come from that's the same geese I mean they just eat grass and drink all the water they want I mean it really does help them it really does but you can what I do is I mix say like I'm feeding a gallon of feed half the gallon I will make chick starter grower and the other half I will make scratch feed it's just a bunch of different uh, like crack corn a little bit of whole corn and it's got a bunch of different like seeds and stuff in it that provides them with nutrients that they do need but I mean in total just give them that and grass and they will grow phenomenally and like I said I mean it don't take long at all for them to turn big like that and they are one of the biggest breeds of geese there is as you can see that one right there that's the tufted and that's the dewlap they get that name because they got a big waddle underneath their chin that's the dewlap but y'all I'm gonna move on to another topic night now if you just don't care just hit the like button ring the bell and stay tuned I'll have another video to you thank y'all again and you have a blessed afternoon goodbye